church. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to return all glory to God. Uh, last month, maximum impact. Daddy called and uh, for those that were having challenges in their sleep. For me, then if I could wake up in the middle of the night, probably I didn't remember to put my phone in silence. I wouldn't be able to get my sleep back. So I was used to taking Panadol night. So to me, I was like, it was normal just to activate my sleep. Not until Daddy shared the light and they said, you need to be delivered. That was what he said. And within me, I digested it. And since then till now, even if I could wake up, talk to somebody and still go back to sleep and my sleep has been normal. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Secondly, on Wednesday, Daddy called again for those that, uh, that, that used alarm for waking up. So even that, I thought it was normal as well. So on Thursday, I just found myself woken up three minutes to the alarm. I didn't know because I thought it was the alarm. So as I was praying, the alarm rang. I was like, could this be true? Because earlier I woke up 30 minutes. I knew the devil was trying to to do something that, okay, let's see if you can get back to sleep or you stay awake for that 30 minutes. Because then I used to feel I would be cheated if I had woken up a few minutes to my alarm time. But to the glory of God, I bless his name for his mercies endured forever. Praise God. Uh, my name is Josephine. This is my first time to give a testimony. My testimony happened during the maximum impact. So when it happened, I was supposed to give the testimony on Wednesday. Wednesday, I happened to come late. So when I came late, uh, I was happy that I came a little bit late because I couldn't testify I fear people. But uh, yesterday, when we were praying with uh, Papa, then he happened to say, anyone who got a testimony during the impact, so by mistake, I put up my hand. So I was like, yeah, you have to give a testimony. I was like, oh my God. I have to stand before the congregation. But uh, before when I was praying to God, I told God, if you do this for me, I'm going to testify before the congregation. But I, I don't like it. I've never done it. So my testimony is I had immigration issues. It happened in a very funny way. Just in a month, it paid to 10,000 dirham. But I thank God I cleared everything. That is my testimony. And also God gave her a job. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was work. I thank God during all that mess, I was having a job. But within that mess, I got some thing. Something told me, you can apply for another job. I applied for another job. I got that job. That job, I got it when uh, I went there. The guy didn't even look at my CV. He just gave me the computer. He told me, do this and this. I did it. I passed the interview. And I got another job that I'm supposed to join next month and, fifth, and then international doors are also open i just thank you for that. gloire à dieu je voudrais donner les deux témoignages en français le premier témoignage de notre soeur elle témoigne des bienfaits de l'éternel dans sa vie puisque pendant une séance de culte daddy a dit qu'il y a des personnes qui n'arrivent pas a bien dormi. Il faut prendre des panadols pour pouvoir dormir. Et elle faisait partie de ces personnes. Après la prière, elle a été vraiment délivrée. Et mercredi encore, il a dit qu'il y a des personnes qui ont automatiquement besoin d'une alarme pour pouvoir garder le temps. Et elle voudrait aussi bénir le Seigneur parce que elle a pu se réveiller sans la lame trois minutes avant l'heure de sortie. Donc, c'est les deux témoignages qu'elle a donnés. Et le, troisième, le deuxième témoignage pour notre sœur, elle témoigne également des bienfaits de l'éternel. Ceci s'est passé pendant le mois de Maximum Impact, l'édition que nous avons eue ce mois-ci. Elle dit que le Seigneur l'a visité également. Elle avait des soucis de documents, sa résidence n'était pas en état. Et elle dit qu'en un mois, il y a eu une compilation de près de 10 000 dirhams. Mais elle bénit le Seigneur parce qu'elle s'en est en sortie. Mais pendant ce moment trouble, elle avait quand même un travail qu'elle faisait et elle a pu postuler ailleurs. Elle a eu un nouveau travail et certainement le mois prochain, elle va commencer. Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer le Seigneur pour ses bienfaits au milieu de son peuple? Praise God. Can we all stand up to thank God for these testimonies? For those who have been able to be bold enough 
to share their testimonies. May we thank God. May we also thank God for those also who have got the testimonies but have failed to bring forward, come forward. Father, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for these testimonies because they are not our own works. Father, these are your own works, Father. We want to thank you because the accumulation of testimony in this, in this commission is unprecedented. These are not the first and not be the last, Father. Father, we want to thank you because whatever you do and whatever we desire, we'll always get it in this commission. Father, we want to thank you for our, brother, our sisters that have testified. We know this will be a multiplicity of testimonies in this house. It is not going to be the end because it will be a continuous way because you always deliver what you promise. Father, I want to thank you for these promises. I want to thank you for these testimonies. We want to thank you for the fulfillment of whatever you always desire to tell us, Father. We want to thank you for those also who have got their testimonies but have not been able to share them. We, Father, we pray that you give them the courage next time when they come forth, they will be able to share testimonies. Father, we pray for your mercy, for your courage, I mean for your confidence and grace to enable those who feel that they are shy to, to share their testimonies. Father, may you give them the courage and the strength and the boldness to be able to stand before the congregation to be sharing their testimonies. Father, in the same way, may we, we, may we, we present the United Arab Emirates before your presence. We pray that this is the nation that is we are in. This is the nation that is housing us at this moment. We pray for the peace and settlement and the peace and tranquility of this nation. Father, we pray for the, the peace in this nation. We pray for the leadership that brings forth policies. We pray for their strength. We pray for the defense system of this nation to be strengthened. Father, in this time of the world, where the time, the world, the world has become so volatile, we pray that the, U, the UAE remains peaceful at all times. We pray that no attack, no any bombardment may occur in this country. We pray for the policies that bring forth peace in this country. We pray for the friendly, friendly policies that the UAE may adopt with its neighboring countries. We pray that this consistently remains the same, that the leadership here designs policies, that international policies that bring forth peace and tranquility to both its citizens and its nationals. Thank you, Lord. In the same way, may we go ahead. We pray for the nation of Israel. Israel is your firstborn father. We thank you, Lord, for the peace in Israel. And we pray, Father, for the more consolidation and presence of peace in that country. We pray for Jerusalem. Jerusalem means the presence of peace in Jerusalem means the presence of peace in the rest of the world. May there be peace in Jerusalem. May there be peace in Israel. Because peace in Israel means peace to all of us that matter to you and worship you, O Lord. Father, in the same vein, we come from different parts of the world. We come from different parts of our country. We bring, we bring forth our nations where we come from. As a commission, we congregate here different nationalities from different parts of the world, from different parts of Africa. Father, we present you these nations to you, the nations of Africa, the nations of Europe, the nations of Asia that have congregated before you today. May there be peace. May there be settlement. May there be development, especially in Africa, where the leadership has opted to rob the nationals of their rights.